What's up everybody, it's Blaze from Funbox here and with a recent release of uh, the latest GMS2 update, we now have Nine Slice native to uh, GMS2, which means that we no longer have to import uh, packages that we might find on the um, marketplace. However, it isn't perfect, not yet. It's not completely integrated. So if you are still reliant on those, then by all means, keep using them. But for those of you who are new to Nine Slice, here is a very quick rundown of what we have. So to create our Nine Slice, what we're going to do is with a just any random sprite, really, you can create a Nine Slice. What's new with this uh, update is we now have a Nine Slice tab here. So if we open that, we can see that with my sprite, I've already got it added in and we get two windows here. Let's talk about this left window first. And basically we get these pink lines here. These are our guides. You can adjust these manually here or by inputting the numbers directly to the left over here. All right, so these guides will create the different slices, right? Our nine slice, one, two, three, nine. All right, so that's what, that's what this creates and if you're watching this for any other reason other than for a nine slice tutorial, I don't know what to tell you guys. I think you came to the wrong place. Anyway, let's keep going. We then have a highlight. So uh, the highlight is basically just, it just shows us which uh, tile is being highlighted. You have two, you have inverted, which basically shows us this and you have overlay, which selects this. And you can change the color by clicking over here. I'm not gonna change it, I like blue. We then have the selected slice. This changes depending on whichever one we've got selected. The last one is the tile mode. Now I'm gonna talk about that in a second because showing our tiles here, the tile modes won't really show up. So I'll get to that in just a moment. In this right window, we have the actual preview. So if you do have repeating tiles in your, um, in your UI, then you can preview it here. Right, that's where we'll go. So let's go into our actual awesome looking tile, uh, nine slice, sorry. And let's take a look at those uh, tile modes. I keep calling it tile because tile modes is what we're talking about, even though it's a nine slice. So let's take a look at here, I'm gonna select overlay. So here is our center tile, all right? And that's what we're going to focus on. Let's take a look at the different modes that we have. We have stretch. Right, the first one is stretch and basically it takes this one image and let's say it's a square, it'll basically stretch it out. And sometimes you'll want that, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys that are creating a repeating tile texture don't want that. So to solve that, we basically use repeat. And my, my repeating image looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible. Um, but you can fix it depending on the size and the width of your actual UI object. So be careful, like show, have a bit of caution, use it with caution, but uh, there will be cases where it'll look a bit off, right? So be careful when you're actually creating your tiling um, image that it doesn't have these weird patterns on the inside like what I have. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Uh, we then have our mirror, which basically takes your first tile and then with any second images, it will mirror that. And then it'll mirror it again and again and again and again, infinitely. And the same works with like going vertically as well. Okay, so if we take mirror, if I zoom out just a little bit, we can see that it will mirror that pattern across. All right, the same thing goes with repeat. All right, let's go to the next one is blank repeat. Basically, it just draws it the first time once and then leaves it empty. Um, you might wanna use this for, maybe you wanna have some sort of um, box effect. You can have this. And maybe you wanna show something in the corner. You can draw this out and that's totally fine. Or if you're layering UIs on top of each other, you can do this as well. All right, totally, totally usable. The last one is of course hide and it's basically what it is. It doesn't draw that part of the nine slice at all. 
All right, so now let's get into the room itself and let's see the different ways that we can add our nine slice. So the first one is of course on our instances and I left that at, re at uh, hide. Let me just change that back to repeat, All right? So we, we can add this in as a, a direct object. Let me just add that in again. And when you first add it into your scene, it'll just look like this. And you can expand it and play around with that and all that. That's totally fine. You can also rotate it. It's pretty useful. Um, I'm not sure if you want to rotate it, um, why you would. But for those of you that want to, you can. It's totally doable. Let me get, let me hide that because we don't need it. The other way to do it is to, of course, use it as just a pure background or a, or a static asset. All right, so the same functionality is available to you. You can resize it, you can do stuff with it. Of course, you can also rotate it as well if you really wanted to. So those are the ways that you can add it to your room. The third way to do it, and I've just very quickly add this in is of course with mouse buttons. So we can press enter, right? And it just adds new instances. So those are the three ways that you can get your UIs in the game. So for example, obviously this one, if you had like a main menu screen or something like that, you can just have a static um, background as your UI. Of course, if you're playing the game, you wanna have a, I don't know, some pause menu or something, then of course, by pressing enter, you can instantiate or you can activate and deactivate objects as you need them. You can also integrate this with sequences. It's totally doable. Um, I just don't have an example of that here. So sorry, sorry. Uh, um, and I think that's it. There should be other uh, drawing functions that you can use it as well. The last thing actually, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is you can actually have, there are functions, three functions here, right? The three functions are nine, nine slice, nine slice get, which reads an existing nine slice, nine slice create, which creates a struct of a nine slice, which you can then add information to and manipulate. And of course you can set nine slice. So you're going to, well, as it, as you might be able to tell, it sets, it sets the information that you need for a specific nine slice that you can then use and draw later on in the, in your game, All right? So these are the three functions that have come with it. So I'm not going to go into that because I haven't fully tested that out myself, but you can do that. <laughs> You guys can do that in your own time, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's it from me. If you guys are interested in seeing more, I do have a turn-based RPG series running at the moment. And for those of you who are watching that, don't worry, the next upload is coming up in just a moment. Um, for those of you who are new and you guys wanna see more, then don't forget to subscribe, like the video as well. And if you guys think it's helpful and you, you know, you want to share it, then feel free to do so. Um, for those of you who are interested, I am thinking about starting up a Discord server where we can all hang out, share ideas. As for ideas for new tutorials, please leave them in the comments section below for now. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm off to have my lunch break because it's already 12 here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.